Hi 2A, I'm Mrs. Savage and I will be your teacher this school year. I am so excited for everyone to get here on Thursday. It's a little lonely being at school without anybody else here. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to seeing all of you on our first day of school. Before I give you a virtual tour and talk about a few things that you can expect this school year, I would like to tell you a little bit about myself. I live on a farm with my family in Delta, and you can see a little picture of part of our farm, and Mr. Savage had been um, baling straw, so we have straw loaded up, and we're going to use that elevator to load it up in the barn now. This is actually a tractor that belonged to my grandpa that we still use every day, which is so cool. I think he would love that, and to see my boys drive it is extra special. I love it. So here you can see my kiddos. This is Corey, he's our oldest son. Then Abby, and then my wild man, Ty. They're in the 10th, 7th, and 5th grade. So let's go ahead and start our tour. <laughs> so we're gonna leave the Clever Touch, which if you were at SJA last year, your classroom had one. <laughs> so it should look really familiar. Our next stop is our math meeting board. Each day we'll begin math here and on the top bulletin board there's usually a chart or a graph and it's just a warm up. Then we'll probably move to the whiteboard and learn any new concepts there. When I scan the camera around, you're going to see a tub at each of your desks. Each of you has a toolbox, a math toolbox that has manipulatives for you to use. All the tools that you'll need for math for the whole year is in that box. That way we're not sharing and we keep everybody just a little extra safe. Okay, our next stop on our tour <laughs> is our sink. We'll be doing some extra hand washing this year. So we wanna make sure everybody stays healthy and safe. So we'll have our sink here in the classroom and then we'll use also the ones in the restroom too. Beyond the sink, you'll see a whiteboard. We'll do a lot of teaching there and our focus wall here for our stories each week. And that just tell, goes over all the concepts we're going to work on. So you'll know from on Monday what we're working on that whole week in reading. Then um, above the trash can, it's kind of hard to see, is a hand sanitizer and we'll be using that um, when we leave the room and when we come back in. So I'm going to spin you just a little bit more. In the back, you'll see a large white poster. That is our planner board. And second grader, my friends, <laughs> each of you will receive a planner, a student planner. You will write your homework in this planner every day. You'll take this home and we'll write any homework you have and then any special notes, anything that your family might need to know upcoming events. Now you'll notice our school supplies list did not have a backpack this year. That's because each of you will be getting this handy dandy little drawstring bag. You will be taking your Chromebook home each, um, each night and then bringing it back each morning. Also, you'll take your planner and then a few homework sheets, um, whatever our homework happens to be that day. We're not going to be taking any books back and forth. And so I have some online links that I'll share with your families where you can access our reading story for the week and um, any materials you might need. So we'll definitely be sending that out in an email soon. Okay, beside our planner board, you'll see our daily schedule, and this is where I will post exactly what we'll be doing every day. So you always know where we're at in our day. Then we have our word wall, which has, does not have any words on it, where we'll post sight words that we're working on in class. I'm going to lower your camera down just a little bit, and you can see that our desks are spread apart just a little more than they have been in the past. There's yellow tape kind of at the legs of the desk to mark your space. And that's just to keep everybody a little healthier, a little safer. Okay, in the back, you'll see 
bins of library books. It's so important, so important that we read, read, read this year as second graders. We're really making that leap from emergent readers to chapter books, and we get to do that together. So for me to watch you grow as a reader and build your reading stamina and strength, it's one of my favorite parts of my job for sure. So we're going to work our classroom checkout system a lot like the library, public libraries are, are using right now. So I will help you and take out a book that you choose. You kind of guide me and picking for you. And then I'll check it out. And you're able to use that book here at school. Next to each desk, there's a book bin that's zip tied to your desk leg. And you'll read that book. You'll put any books that you're reading at that time in your little box on the floor. And when you're finished with it, hopefully you're taking an AR test on it, and then you'll return that book into the, that day's return bin. They'll be disinfected, and then they set for three days or 72 hours to make sure they're nice and sharp free, and then I'll return them to the shelf, and somebody else will be able to see that as maybe an option they would like to read and pick for themselves. You will receive an AR goal this year and I have we have an AR tracking board so we can see where everyone is at on um, towards their goal not what their goal is but what percentage they're at are you at halfway through reaching your AR goal are you 75% of the way to reaching that goal and then we track it if you're over a hundred percent and each quarter I'll have a prize for you to earn and I tried to make them kind of crazy and fun. My kids definitely helped me pick out prizes for the school year, which is fun for them. And hopefully they picked out some great ones for you this year. All right, my friends, that is the end of our virtual tour. But I did want to go over one thing. We, um, one thing that has changed this school year is that I will be wearing a mask. So I wanted to show you what I look like without the mask and then what I would look like when you come in on Thursday. So I didn't want you to be scared um, or a little frightened if you saw the mask. Just makes me seem very doctor-like, I think. <laughs> and I did get some fun, cool masks, but I didn't want to ruin the surprise. And so we'll be able to wear different ones based on what we're learning about. So I'm super excited to share those with you. All right, my friends, remember your water bottle and your um, summer reading project. I cannot wait to hear about all of the great reading you've done. Parents, I will be sending out a Google form about transportation, how your kiddo is getting home that first day and then from um, the, for the rest of the week or quarter. And then um, a survey that I'd like for you to complete, just so I'm prepared for your kiddos on Thursday. All right, my friends, I can't wait to see you. I hope you enjoy your last few days of summer. This is Mrs. Savage saying goodbye.